All right, so right now we're getting ready to look at Doug's second choice, the 1969 Dodge Charger. He loved the 68 Dodge Charger. That was his first choice, but Will, big baby Spooner, he wanted the 68, so I let him have that. Without further ado, let's go over some of the things that you like about the 69 Dodge Charger and what sets it apart from the others, shall we? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. You go. No, no, you're okay. You go ahead. You can walk up that way. You can go around that way. I was going to point out the front grill. Well, the center of the grill is different than all of them. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I thought that was kind of unique. The thing about Doug is, I can tell if he's clicking or I can tell if he's not. If the switch is off, I don't even bother. But the switch is on, he actually pretty darn good. Now, the 69 nose, though, did become a very famous, iconic image. Dukes of Hazzard? Television Hazard? series, sure. Dukes, Dukes of Hazard, Hazard. that's right. right. Dukes of Hazard. What are the other things that jump out about you different between this and the other two models that surround it, the 68 and the 70? The side lights. The side lights. 69 is, is unique by itself. This actually does not have a park lamp in it. Just a reflector. So in 69, it was just a reflector. It actually wasn't a side marker light, which is weird because in 68, it was round mm -hmm. and it was located up high, or higher right on the style line. But it was actually illuminate. And the 70 yeah. would also illuminate. But this particular one was just a reflector. Now this is a special edition. So what is the SE going to tell us on this particular car? What would it have guaranteed that a non-SE wouldn't have? It's very similar Leather to your- interior? Very similar to your Grand Coupe, that's right. Yeah. It also gets the wood grain dash panel. Oh yeah. So the wood grain dash panel mm. was standard on the SEs and it was the only way you could get it in 69. The owner of the 69 Chargers had it a long time. I think that he's gonna have a lot of fun when it's done, and I think he's gonna have a family heirloom that he can pass down to his kids. Or what do you think of them taillights? Talk to me. You prefer the 68? Well, I did, I did. These are more like mine, although mine didn't have the chrome highlight around them. Same shape, but didn't have the chrome highlight. That was the 70s style. I like these. 1969, the General Lee, made this Charger famous on television. What movie made it famous at the drive-in theaters? Tell me. Dirty Mary. Oh! And Psycho Larry. My favorite. Yes, it is. It's one of Doug's yeah. favorite movies. Yeah. We saw that at the drive-in way back when we Loved were kids. It. So that car was a 69 Charger. Assumably, or presumably, <laughs> whichever one it is, an RT, because it had RT badging on it. But on the back quarter, Right here, an RT would normally have a big badge that would say RT, or this would be a bumblebee, and it would be cut out in the bumblebee and say RT. That one had neither. It had 440 written in it with that arrow-shaped stripe down the side. It's pretty. So that's why I always wondered if that was a real RT or not. It also probably, when it started life, was a vinyl top car, but they didn't think that was very sexy, so they painted the top the same color as the body. But if you look carefully at the pictures, you'll see that that car has these moldings on it. They wouldn't have put those moldings on. It'd been like our 68 Charger. It wouldn't uh -huh. have been a molding there if it yep. wasn't a vinyl top car. <clears throat> but if you look carefully at the wreck scene at the end of Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry, right after Mary says, I think I'm ready to unload, they smash into that train. That's a real 69 Charger. I don't know which one from the movie, but it's one of them that they had used or planned for it. And that was a real scene. And if you look carefully, you'll see that's a real hit. Watch the secondary damage go throughout the entire car, all the way through to the back window and around. That, that hit in the front is an example of how a unibody will transfer damage where a subframe car won't, okay? It's because it's all one piece. So it lives together, it dies together. It wrecks together, it spreads together. That's just the way it is. From 1968 to 1970, did all chargers, regardless of the model and engine, get a flip-top gas cap? Sure. Yes, that's correct. Very nice. Were there any other cars that got the flip-top gas cap in 1969? Barracuda? Yeah. Oh, Dougie coming out, of, coming out of the gates a little slow, but gaining the speed now. Oh, one thing I do want to talk about before we peel the out of here. The L51s and the L31s. <clears throat> what I'd like to know is why are you doing this with that? Doing what with what? Thank you for asking. This, it's everywhere now. It's like, where's Waldo? I did that? Careful, don't break my hand. <clears throat> On this installment of You Make the Call, I got my cousin Dougie here with me because we both happen to love 
these particular cars, maybe more so than most Mopar guys do. This is a flashback. Two cars that we restored many episodes ago, many seasons ago. I want to see which one you'd pick. So, 1971 Dodge Charger RT. It was a 446 pack triple green car. They only made, it's an automatic, they only made 98 of those cars. Good looking car in EF7 Sherwood or dark green in the Dodge lineup. The other car, the 1972 Dodge Charger. Here's the hook on this one. D Doug loves the oddball stuff. <laughs> this car's an oddball. This car had every option that a real A57 Charger Rally would have had in 72, but it wasn't a Charger Rally. It was a 318. The gentleman, Mr. Walton, who bought the car brand new, wanted all the performance package stuff without the gas guzzling engine because he wanted to take his kids across country with the little trailer in tow and see the United States. If you had a choice <clears throat> right now between the 1971 Dodge Charger RT 446 pack, one of 98 in triple green, and a 1972 Dodge Charger 318 with all the options of an A57 rally package, but not the A57 in top banana with white interior, which one would you make the call on? What? That's why I don't ask him. <laughs> you folks at home make the call.